Good evening, Northeast families. This is Miss Bailey with Luna, and we are going to read Luna's Adventures in Petlandia. Luna lived in Northeast and dreamt of being a star with her very own TV show and chauffeur-driven car. But being cute and furry made stardom rather tough, especially as the only words she knew were woof and rough. Feeling brave, she folded up her PJs and a flannel, along with some ideas for her Luna YouTube channel. Sneaking into Miss Bailey's room, she scrawled a doggy note, then kissed her gently on the cheek and went to get her coat. Scampering through the moonlit streets with thoughts of being wealthy, Luna stopped beside a sign and thought, I'll take a selfie. Pulling out her eye bone, she posed and took a snap, then headed to the airport while squinting at her map. Luna was excited because she'd never flown before unless you count the time that she slammed a laptop on her paw. And as the plane took off, she thought of A-list towns and mutts while trying to squish her nose into a teeny bag of nuts. When Luna got to Hollywood, she set up several meets, but most of them went wrong because she tinkled on the seats. And even though she tried her best, the top dogs weren't impressed. We've seen your act before, kid, and look at how you're dressed. With failure after failure, Luna's confidence was shrinking. But then she saw a saxophone, which kind of got her thinking. I need to learn some new tricks to really make me shine. And then I'll make some videos and post them all online. Meanwhile, back in Northeast, Miss Bailey found a note. My dog thinks she'll be famous. Oh, what a silly goat. But suddenly she looked up and saw Luna on the news. She'd become an online superstar with 50 million views. It seems dogs can learn new tricks, Miss Bailey thought out loud. And even though she missed her friend, she was also very proud. There was Luna on a chat show tootling away while teetering on a unicycle doing dog ballet. Soon the world was going wild for Luna's jolly tunes. You could even buy a storybook and see her in cartoons. She bought a doggy mansion and a limo and a yacht. She even met the president and partied quite a lot. Other doggies lined up to shake Luna by the paw and scripts for pet-based movies came tumbling through the door. She'd sit and count her money while lounging on her throne. But when she wasn't working, she'd often be alone. Because she felt so lonely, Luna bought more stuff, but even though she had it all, it was never quite enough. She tried some doggy yoga, which she thought might make her happy, but that just tied her up in knots and made her sore and snappy. Then suddenly it hit her as she chewed her oldest bone, what Luna wanted most was to be snuggled back at home. Yes, she missed her fancy life, the palm trees and her chauffeur, but none of that compared to cuddling Miss Bailey on the sofa. She called off all her concerts and she gave away her things, but all flights home were fully booked, so she clung onto the wings. Hanging on for dear life as the plane took to the skies made Luna think of Miss Bailey and tears welled in her eyes. 
Soaring over northeast, Luna thought, I've had a hoot. But home is where the heart is, so I need to parachute. Fumbling in her suitcase, she found a sparkly gown, then used it as she leapt off to sort of slow her down. Tumbling through the fluffy clouds was really quite a rush. But Luna had to slow down, or soon she'd be doggy mush. Just then, she saw a mattress dumped upon a roof, so she steered herself towards it and landed with a woof. Jumping into Miss Bailey's arms, Luna cried with joy. Then Miss Bailey squeezed the squeaker in a squishy, squashy toy. Fame is pretty epic, but snuggling is the best, thought Luna as she curled up to enjoy a well-earned rest. Miles away in Hollywood, things were much the same, and countless pets arrived each day to search for wealth and fame. They often spoke about that dog who played the saxophone and how she left it all behind because she missed her home. But Luna wasn't bothered that she'd given up, given fame the shove because her trip had taught her that what really counts is love. The end. We hope you enjoyed our story. Good night.